Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you guys how to put a Nintendo 64 emulator onto your Wii. And in order to do this, you must have a Wii that has the homebrew channel, a computer or laptop, and an SD or an SD card or a USB flash drive. I'm using a USB, um, I mean a uh, SD card, and I already have it opened up right now. So. Well, you you can go ahead and put in your uh, USB or your SD, and you want to go onto this site in order to get the Homebrew browser. All right, it will it's right here, and it will be in the description box below. You will also need WinRAR, which again will be in the description box. So on the right side here, you're gonna see something that says Download. You click on it, and you're going to open up with the WinRAR. Okay which I said it will be in the description you're going to save the file and going to save it and once you do that you're going to pull up your SD card or USB and let's pretend that this half is the downloaded homebrew browser so once it's done downloading you're going to open it up and you should see a folder that's called homebrew browser and I'm going to show you to you what it looks like it's right there let's see a folder that says homebrew browser Okay, once it, and it will be into on the left side, which is the one that you just opened. All right, you're going to drag that folder onto the root of your SD card. Then, if you don't have one already, you're going to make a folder called Apps. All right, you're going to make a folder called Apps. And once you made that, you're going to drag the Homebrew browser that you just put on your SD card or your USB into the folder, and you should have it in there. Alright, once you've done that, you can go ahead and remove your SD card. Alright, here's mine. Now we go to the Wii. Go ahead and put your SD card or your USB into your Wii. And let me just grab my Wii remote real fast. Alright, you can go into your homebrew channel, click start, wait for that to load up, and you're going to click on homebrew browser, and you click load, and then you'll get a bunch of text. And then you'll get this really weird thing on your TV. And it should load up. Once it loads up, we're going to go into emulators. And you will scroll down until you see um, Wii 64. Right there. You're going to click on it and you're going to install it. Or download it. Once you download, you can uh, click on the home button on your Wii remote and go to remote, uh, return to loader from here you can just click on the homebrew I mean on the home channel again and then go to exit to system menu then you can go ahead and take out your SD card alright I'm just going to take out my SD card alright once you got your SD card back and go back onto your computer, go ahead and put your SD card back in. Gonna open it. Alright, and you should have a new folder that's called Wii 64. If you have a new folder called Wii 64, then you're good. Alright, now you're going to need to go grab the ROMs now, and the two sites that I like to go on is ROMFreaks.net and Electric ROMs. Alright, they will both be in the description box below. And in order to know which ROMs actually work for the Wii 64, you're going to go on to this site right up here. This will also be in the description box. And... I'm just going to click on a random ROM, like F0X, and it will say onto here, 
if the ROM is playable or if it's unplayable. If it's red, then it's unplayable. If it's green, then most of the time it will work. Yellow, it's not going to really work. Well, yeah, it's right here, the legend. Blue is excellent. Green is good. Yellow is okay. Red is bad. And clear is terrible. Or gray. Okay? So you're just going to search up a ROM that you want here. Just going to go back. See? These are all the ROMs. And you can just click on one and you can see if they work or not. Alright, so I'm just going to use electric ROMs right now. And I'm just going to get Majora's Mask. You're going to click on it and you're going to save the file with Rinroar. I already have it downloaded, so once you download it, you should get something. And you, once you download it, you should open it and you'll get something like this. And make sure it's the file is N64. It can also be Z64 or V64. Pretty much anything that has a 64 at the end. Alright. So what you're going to do is you're going to open back up your SD card or your USB. <coughs> And you're going to click on Wii 64, click on ROMs, and you're going to pretty much drag Majora's Mask or whichever ROM you just downloaded onto your S onto the SD card. I already have it there. It's right there. So I already have it. All right. Once you're right, once it's uh, downloaded into there, you're going to X out of everything pretty much, and you're going to remove your SD card once again. Alright, now we go back to the Wii. Go ahead and put back your SD card or your USB. Alright. Go ahead and load up your homebrew channel. I'm just going to use the classic controller for this. So, oh, I dropped it. That's just great. Give me a minute. Sorry about that, I had to plug in my classic controller. Alright, so here it is. We're gonna go to. Go ahead and load up Wii 64. Alright, you're gonna go to load ROM. Load from SD. If you have a USB, click on load from USB. Click A. And you're going to go look for the ROM you just downloaded. So use Majora's Mask and click A. Alright, and you're going to go into Play Game. I'm just going to turn the volume up. Alright, as you can see, it works. Works perfectly. I just started up, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it does work, guys. I'm just doing this with one hand, but yeah, it does work, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, there you go. You got your Nintendo 64 emulator onto your Wii. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if I find any more links to get ROMs, then I'll just put that up there on the description box as well. So, yep. Congratulations guys, you just got an Nintendo 64 emulator on your Wii. See you guys later.